that I run for city council. So many people have complained that they have tried to get with us down at the city hall and they was ignored. They was ignored and nothing was ever done once in a while. They do this and that and at that time they were 92 miles of dirt street in the city making and some of the people couldn't even hardly get out of the driveways and everything. So they asked me to run. So I run and I got more votes than anybody ever got in history of making not bragging but it showed them down there that Ed D4 had a following behind him, and then they began to work closer with us. And I would invite them to come down to me. They say, you don't need to invite them people to come down here. I said, yes, I do. So they began to come down there, and the administration used to turn around. It wasn't just the mayor at that time. It was the whole administration as a whole. But uh, anyway, we turned City Hall upside down just about getting things done for the people. And... Uh, since I've been down there along with the other aldermen, you know, council members, uh, commissioners, what we're called now, that we have paved 92 miles of dirt street, we have done sports, we have done everything that the people have asked. And uh, we haven't had to go out and raise taxes every other year, something like that. We've had mayors and administration to take the value of that dollar and use the value of it and do what was good for the people here in Macon and I'm proud to have been down there with the mayors and the other council members, and we've got a lot done, and I'm so proud of it, and I hope that we can continue to do it from here on out and help it. I want us to be doing something that'll help these young men and women as they grow up in the man and womanhood, that, you know, they'll be happy, and they say, well, this transpired while we was kids growing up, you know, so uh, that's our feeling is to help the people.